Please open your Bible to Proverbs 2, 6, 6 and 15. En Proverbe 2. For the Lord giveth us giving wisdom out of his mouth, command knowledge and understanding. He laid up sound wisdom for the righteous. Righteous. He is the blacker to them that walk up right. Right. He keepeth the path of judgment and preserve the way of his son. Then shall the understand righteousness and judgment and cruelty, yea, and every good path. Where wisdom enter into thy heart and knowledge is pleasant to thy soul. Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil man from the man that speaketh for things, who lead the path of, of righteousness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and, de and delight in the wildness of the wicked, who ways are crook and they forward in the path. Amen. 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 Now it's time for open for open the version service we can and sing your own song. Okay. I have a song to sing. Open devotion. Look who's saying it. Where is the camera? Yeah, that's okay. 
She's a motherly And he shall 
and he should and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions, twelve legions of, of angels. Amen. He said a third left in Revelation 12. He said a multitude left in Luke, and then a legion left on Matthew 12 to 6. A legion of angels. So Satan has a sizable amount, a sizable, highly organized force under his control. Okay? He has a sizable amount of force under his control. These fallen angels, also known as demons, okay? They are known as demons. They have Satan accomplished his purpose, which is which, which in the word of Christ is, is to steal and destroy. While the Bible does not give us specific details as to how demons work, we can be confident to know that everything, we, everything that we need to know about them is found in the word of God, is found in the Bible. We do not need to look elsewhere in the Bible. We, we do not need to look elsewhere, okay, for searching for spirit, uh, to search the spiritual world, okay? We do, like some people are like, well, I'm going to go see, see a, a, a palm reader. I'm going to search, search within myself. I'm going to search somewhere to find out what, does the, what is the demons. But the word of God already tells us there are legions. There are multitudes. There are third. Even though he didn't say exact numbers, but we know the devil have a force, a mighty force of falling angels. Okay? Now, we're going to take, take our time to really examine what are, in, what are the, the demons. Okay? What do the demons believe in? What do demons really believe in? Okay? Okay? Strange as it, strange as it, as it may seem, demon of knowledge there is only one God on James 2 verse 19 open up your Bible to James 2 verse 19 okay demons of knowledge that there is only one God James 2 verse 19, he said, Who said, who have faith? For you believe that there is one God. For you believe that there is one God. G good for you. Even the demons believe this, and they tremble in terror. Okay? Yeah. They tremble in terror. Okay? The Bible is trying to tell, tell you that uh, uh, believe it or not, in some ways demons are, are, are quite orthodox in their belief. They, they know that there is only one God, okay? They recognize that Jesus is indeed the Son of God. Okay? In, Matthew, in the Gospel of Matthew, if you look through the Gospel of Matthew, um, I'm reading my, my, my notes, okay? If you look through the Gospel of Matthew, the, the demons say to Jesus, Why are you interfering with us, Son of God? Have you, have you come here to torture us before God's appointed time? Of Matthew 8, verse 29. Know that Jesus is come. They know something is here because you are not placed on this earth just, just, just for showing up. You didn't just born and say, well, I'm here on this earth. My parents just come. No, you was here for a purpose. But, you, but according to, to the Bible, a lot of us do not believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Okay? Amen. Yet, even if you do not believe in God, 
these verses show that it is not enough to keep you from going to hell. Okay? It is not enough to keep you from going to hell. Belief without obedience is worthless. Okay? You must obey. You must obey. Because the devil of believe that, that Jesus is the Son of God. The demons believe that Jesus is the Son of God, but they do not obey the command of God. That's, that's why a third of them left, left heaven because they did not obey to the word of God. Okay? So belief is not enough. Okay? Those who settle for less than a total commitment to Christ may find themselves in a company of the demons at, at the end of the judgment time. Okay? So you must have a total commitment to God. You cannot just say, I'm going to come to church one day. I'm going to be one foot in and one foot out. One foot still in PDA for stuff and one foot where well, I'm going to go to church and give God a life. No, repent. no, repentance comes with obedience. Repentance comes with following the word of God. You can't come to say, well, I'm going to repent. I'm just going to take this. It's not blessed, but I'm going to take this. I'm going to do, I'm going to do everything that's not according to the word of God. But then, I, then I'm going to just come to church and, church and repent. I'm sure you could always repent. Because the Bible says you have to repent. You have to repent. So, so your sins could be forgiven. So your sins could be forgiven. But sometimes it's not enough. You must be you must obey the word of God. You must obey the word of God and have a complete, total, total relationship with God. Okay? Good. Our second point in our sermon, we, we, we have a three-point sermon. The, the first point, the, the first point was, was, was why do demons believe in it? Because they believe in the word of God. They just will not obey the word of God. They know the word of God, but, but they were just as kind of follow through. The second point of this sermon is can demon can demon personally harm you? Okay? Can demon personally harm you? Okay? Those people who have a true relationship with God, okay, you must have a true relationship with God. Those people who have a true relationship with God cannot be overcome by demons. Those who do not have a relationship with God are fair game. Are fair game for the for the servant of of Satan. If you look on Act 19, verse 13 to 20, of uh, a scribe, leading a priest, were doing this. But one time when, when they tried it, the, the evil spirit replied, I know Jesus. I know Paul. But who are you? When the man with the evil spirit leaned onto them, overpowered them, and, and attacked them with short violence, that they fled from, from the house naked and Battle. The story of what happens spread quickly all through and efforts to Jews, to Greek alike, to Greeks alike. A set of fear descend on the city. <laughs> and the name of the Lord Jesus Christ was greatly honored. <laughs> Many who become believers confess their sinful practice. A number of them who had been practicing sorcery bought their incantation books and burned them at the public bonfire. The value of these books was seven million was several million dollars. So the message about the book, so the message about the Lord spread widely and had a powerful effect. Okay? Even um, on Act, 9, on, on Act 19, he said, even the demons know if you come by the word of God. If you cast the demons out of your own power, it's not going to work. You must come by the power of the Lord, okay? Because if, if, if you come by yourself, it's useless, okay? While Christians have, prom have, prom have promise of, in of in angelic, 
have promised us angelic protection over the lives. Non Christians are open targets for the devil and his demand and his dynamic force. Okay? Just like the Jews who, was, who came and said, Well, I'm going to cast you out in the name of the Lord. The Satan said, Well, I know Jesus. I know Paul. I know, but who are you to come in front of me and tell me that you're going to cast me out? Who are you to say like that, that you're going to be, be, well, all proud and boastful or in, in, in front of him and say that? Who are you? Okay? Until you are. Repentance until until both of your feet are praising God, until both of your feet are worshiping the Lord. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Are you serving God? Do God give you the power to cast out demons, or do you just say, "Well, by the power of God"? Because the devil knows who God is. Obviously, because he was in heaven, the demons were in heaven with Jesus. They were in heaven with God, so they know God's voice. They know Paul's voice because Paul was actually serving God. He was righteous. He lived a righteous life. He did everything, everything that God asked him to do. God gave him the power. But who are you to say, I'm going to cast you out? Did you pray first? Did you repent of your sins? Did you ask for cleansing? Did you fast? Did you have that communion with God? Before you go out and, 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 and say I'm going to cast out demons, who are you? Okay? Who are you to say I'm going to do all those things? Because until you know who you are in God, you are fair game for the devil. You are fair game for him to destroy your life. Okay? As this passage we relate, demons will only respond to and avoid the genuine believer. If you are genuinely serving God, the demon will avoid you. If you are genuinely serving God, the demon will respond to you and flee. But if you are not serving God according to, 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 the, according to the Bible, you are not going anywhere. You are a fair game. Okay? They will not answer to anyone who simply used the name of Jesus without really knowing who Jesus is. Religions will not keep them away. Say, I'm going to go to Baptist Church, Catholic Church, and Methodist Church. I'm going to go, I'm going to go to church. These things will not keep the devil, will not keep the demons from attacking your life. That's not it. Nor will symbols like the crucifixion, like people who, who go around their house and they put a cross, a, a cross necklace, I believe that's the devil way, or put a cross in front of my house, the cross here, the cross there. The symbols of the crucifixion will not keep the demons away from attacking your life. Okay? Certainly the, the devil hates what Jesus did on the cross. He hates what Jesus did on the cross. But Wearing a cross will, will not drive these evil spirits away. Then, the only thing that will secure you from the devil's demonic denomination, okay, or even possession of your soul is the presence of Jesus Christ in your life. Once you have Jesus Christ in your life, the devil will flee from you. The devil who cannot attack you. They may send their forces to attack you, but they will not succeed. Because, because, the, because the heavenly angelic force will come and be your strength, will come and, and protect you, will be your barrier. But until you have that communication with God, you're not really going anywhere. Okay, you will not have that protection. Okay, you will not have that protection. Okay, you need to have that in, 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 in your life. Once you trust in Him, once you trust in God, you come under His divine protection. You come under God's divine protection and become His property. Okay, when 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 you own something, you want to protect it. Like I own this, I'm going to protect this from. So I don't want it to rip because that's my possession. Because you you have your car, you're going to protect your car because that's your protection, that's your property. But when you become a 
a servant of God, when you become a follower of Christ, you really put your two feet in and worship him, you, you, you come under God's divine protection. He will protect you. He will not let the devil harm you. He will not let the devil send his army of, of, of demons to harm you. Okay? You will become under God's property. You are one of God's property. He says that you are his sheep and there is no root who can take you out of his hand. If you turn your Bible to John 10, verse 27, 19, he said, you are his sheep. You are his sheep. Okay? John 10. He said, my sheep, listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me. For my Father has given them to me, and he is more powerful than anyone else. No one can snatch them from the Father's hand. For I, the Father and I are one. Okay? No one can snatch them from the Father's hand. No one can snatch you from the Father's hand. You are the sheep. No one can snatch you from, from, from God. No one can snatch you from Jesus. Since, since the Father who is God is also Jesus. For the Father and I are one. On verse 30, he said, the Father and I are one. Okay? But, but if you are not a Christian, if you are not a Christian, the devil can take you at his will. The devil can take you at his will. So it's up to you to decide, are you going to be a Christian? Are you going to be a Christian? Are you going to follow God? Are you going to let God possess you? Are you going to let God possess you? Or are you going to let the devil possess your soul? Okay? Are you going to let the devil possess your soul? If you, my third point is, what makes the devil, what makes demons powerless? We talk about who is the demon. Okay? Can demon personally harm you? Obviously, they cannot. They cannot harm you. But my fourth point is, my third point is, what makes demons powerless? Okay? The name of Jesus used by the followers of the name of Jesus used by the followers of Jesus made the demons tremble. On Luke 10, verse 1, 1 to 20. It said he made the demons powerless. He made, he made them tremble. He made them tremble. Okay? Luke 10, verse 1 to 20. Okay. You might have got a new Keep your Bible open. We got a few more verses to keep on going into. Okay? Jesus said, said out his disciples. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord now choose 72 of the disciples and send them ahead in pairs to all of the towns and places he planted to visit. These were his instructions to them. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to, so pray to the chosen to be a disciple of Christ, to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Takes more than just verbal affirmation. It takes daily sacrifice and commitment. When you follow, when you follow, when you follow Christ, guidance and disciples, you will find that that the end result is far more is 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 far better than you could ever have imagined. Here are three things a true believer of Christ should do. Okay? There are three things that it, that a true believer of Christ should do. Okay. 
but we, but we do not need to recognize, but we do not, but we do need to recognize the power Jesus has given us in, in, in the faces of our enemy. The, the same thing he says again on, on Luke 1, on Luke 10, verse 20. On, on, Luke 1, on Luke 10, verse 19, he said, Lord, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. Okay? He gives you the power over the enemy. Because Jesus, Jesus already gave you that power. If you want to claim the power, it's your choice. If you want to let Okay? On verse 17, on Luke 10, he says, okay, 
The demons obey us when we use your name. The demons obey us when we use your name. Okay? Obviously, they had limited amount of power. They had limited amount of power. Because when, when, when you use the name of the Lord, the demons have to flee. If you use the name of the Lord, the demons have to run. So obviously, they have limited amount of power. Okay? Today, you may find people who say that they have conversations with demons who remind them how powerless they are. People will say, well, the devil has control of me. The devil is tying me down. The devil is destroying my family. My family is this and that because of, because of the power that, that the devil has over my life. Okay? Yet, even Michael the Archangel, okay, if you look know, uh, on Jude, turn on your Bible to, to Jude 1 verse 19. Jude 1 verse 19. The archangels, amen, Michael the archangels, and we're going to see what he said. Jude 1 verse 19, it says, Should one verse nine? He said, "But when Michael, but even Michael, one of the mighty, one of the mightiest of the angels, did not dare accuse the devil of blasphemy. But many people are accusing the devil of blasphemy because they are because that's one of the things that that they crucified Jesus in was blasphemy." But even Michael, one of the highest angels in heaven, did not accuse the Lord, which is the devil, of blasphemy. Okay? But simply said, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. This took place when Michael was arguing with, was arguing with the devil about Moses' body. Okay? This took place. So, yet even Michael, the archangel, simply said, the Lord rebuke you. Our focus should not be upon the power we have given, but the but the giver of that power. We should not be worried about well, 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 I have this power, but we should think about well, God has the power. Yes. Because of the power of God, we should, our mindset should be changed to God. God is the one who gives you the power to to rebuke the devil. You cannot rebuke the devil by your own will. I can say, well, well, girl, well, I'm gonna rebuke the power. Well, The devil will, will take control of your life. 
You don't need the devil to take control of your life. You cannot have one foot in serve, serving God one Sunday, one foot in and the Bible still honey today, and then the next week you're not here, the Bible still honey. It don't work like that. You cannot say, well, well, church is having an activity, I can't come because I'm too busy doing something else. That's one foot in and one foot, one foot out. Because by doing that, hey, guess what? The Lord won't know you. You're not going to be under his protection. You're not going to be, be one of his sheep. You need to be one of God's sheep. You need to be under his arm. You need to be watching over you. Okay? Because like, like the Bible said, uh, 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 my, my sheep, they know my voice. Do you know God's voice? Do you know God's voice? Until you have that commitment with God, you won't know God's voice. When God is talking to you, you won't know it. You need to know God's voice. Okay? Let's, let's pray. Um, let's pray. I think this would be a prayer that we all should do together. Open up the Bible to to J U T E on 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 one. It's it's only one page or page of the church. Anyway, uh, verse twenty four to twenty five. We 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 could pray together. It is a prayer of praise. Maybe we need to start praising God. He says, "Now all glory to God, who is able to." Away and will bring you with great joy into his glorious presence without a single fault. All glory to him who alone is God, our Savior through Jesus Christ our Lord. All glory, majesty, power, authority are his before all time, in the presence and beyond all time. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible has only had the prayers in it. If you don't know how to pray, start turning the page to the Word of God. Okay? Start turning the page, pages to the Word of God and have a better understanding of God's Word. Okay? You can start from there. Because all power, all glory, all praises belong to Him. Amen? Anybody have a comment? You, you could comment on them. If you have a question, you could comment on something. Answers, you can ask. You could ask toward that time. It's not we are ending uh, our sermon. Okay? Anybody have some comment or pray or something to say before we end? So for more questions for one day, I'm going to finish the service. We can't come. Money, this is what I'm going to come forward. We can't come there and then we can't come. You want to pray? Before we end service. Thank you. I'm going to see everybody at church. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The people of Bethany. I love you. Church, please pray good. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Like the Bible said, said, the work is many, but the work is of few. The work is there. Okay? Like the Bible said, by, by, from, from the mouth of of the baby deliverance will come. So we must let the kids speak because you won't be able to learn a lot from, from there. Amen? Um, can we do the prayer and, 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 and the benediction for us, please? Who? Not you. Before we leave, we need to look at this verse. This is Luke 10, verse 20. This is 
we just we joy because your name is in the heaven. And we just um, I think he is he is at the book. Twenty seven. Places, blessed shrines, blessed shrines. Jesus is mine. Quel assurance je suis sauvé. In the name of Jesus. Quel assurance. Je suis sauvé. Quel avant-goûté. C'est ma donnée. Merci pour ta parole. Pour te vraiment parler avec cœur, nous te dit, non Seigneur, réjouis plutôt lorsque nous sommes inscrits dans le royaume du ciel. Pas réjouis lorsque nous sommes capables de faire 10. Pas réjouis de ce que nous obéit à nous. Pas réjouis parce que nous possédions plus l'argent. Réjouis plutôt le fait que nous sommes inscrits dans le livre de la vie. Merci Seigneur pour le moment que nous passons. Merci pour chaque monde qui t'a donné des paroles de ça. Et nous connaissons, nous ne sommes pas capables de faire rien en plus. Seulement nous devons nous parler. Mais ton Saint-Esprit qui peut sonder les cœurs, capable de toucher les cœurs vers le cœur plus dur. Et afin que les paroles de ça nous Quand nous sommes des richeurs, nous ne sommes pas dignes de croire. C'est nous qui avons parlé. 
Mais Seigneur, au nom de ton fils Jésus-Christ, nous demandons pour capable de traverser chaque jour qui dans les paroles, qui participer dans ces instants. Bénis nous, Seigneur. Et prends toute gloire. Et en revanche, et bien, Seigneur, nous va témoigner. On va témoigner, Seigneur Jésus Puissant, bénédiction, ça, que nous votons pour au matin, ça, gloire, ça, nous votons pour. Et bien, Seigneur, et nous va marcher dans la rue. Et bien, tout le monde va dire que la lumière. Le vrai est dans notre vie. Ensemble avec mon Père, dirigez-nous au nom de ton fils Jésus-Christ, nous prions. Et que nous dit Jésus Amen. 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 Et c'est cette bénédiction. Dans le nom de ton fils Jésus-Christ, à celui qui nous aime, qui nous a délivré de nos péchés par son sang, et qui a fait le nom et royaume des sacrificateurs de son Père. À lui seul soit la gloire, l'honneur au siècle des siècles. Allez la paix. Que Dieu bénisse. Welcome, welcome, and welcome to Threshing Flood Lutheran Church of God International. We are a ministry committed to the Great Commission according to Matthew 28 19. We are building a and these last days to reach the lost, broken, and hurt people in the generation before we are here. We have been constitutionally blessed with the giving about the Lord Jesus Christ, the only hope for our humans. Call, worship with us at 3273, kiss the court, make it to the 31217. Wednesday, the bus of service at 645 p.m. Saturday morning train at 1264. At 7 o'clock, Sunday, worship service at 11 o'clock. Have breakfast, lunch, and dinner with us before and after each service. And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will be having a movie time at 32. 73 Christmas Court, Thank you. Thank you. Next week, do the week. Thank you for coming to start this event. Hopefully you will come again on Wednesday. Okay. And we have Bible studies. We also have a uh, Bible studies on uh, regular Bible studies on Wednesday. On Sundays, we're going to try to do the night day program. We were trying to do it yesterday, but nobody really showed up on time to do that. So we spent the day watching movies. Because uh, we started watching movies at 5 o'clock with you. Uh, whoever showed up. And we're going to have, we're going to start a 90 day Bible program. I want to get this church ready. To, uh, to be able to attack the devil. You cannot attack the devil if you don't know the word. You cannot attack the devil if you're just sitting at home, for example, too busy to, to come and know the word. You must know the word so when, so when you speak, the devil will flee. Because as, as the Bible says, I don't know you. The devil says, I don't know you. Because you're not here to learn my word. You don't know the reading of the word, but you just show up whatever you want. You gotta come to know the word. So we're gonna try to give, give, give you a, a, a fast, Update class on the Bible for the 90 day program on Saturdays at 7 p.m. And also doing a regular weekday service on Wednesday. That's when we have our regular Bible class. Please show up. Please show up. It's really important for you to be here so you can learn the word of God and to worship God together. That's only you know you where you're gonna learn, learn, learn about who is Jesus, why he came, why he died, why he had to show up, who is the devil. What is going on with, with him? How are you going to attack your life? What you have, how are you going to defeat him? The, the Bible teaches how are you going to defeat the devil? 
Until you come, you're not going to know. So you got to show up. Also, uh, you, you will learn about the Holy Spirit. Who, who is the Holy Spirit? Why do you do it in your life? Why is the Holy Spirit there? You will know these answers. I could preach about them doing sermon. On Sunday morning, you come, I preach about who is Jesus, who is the Holy Spirit, who, why are angels, why are this, and why are that, why did the sermon? I could preach about those things for a few hours, but you want to get in depth, study of the Bible, please show up. I'm 32 Saint Louis, Kingston, Park, Lincoln, Georgia. I'll see you next week. Till we meet again in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen.